Hello, this is Colin, and I'm continuing my epic voyage through the various uh, factions of the Cthulhu Wars uh, game, uh, the figures which I've painted. Now, of course, we have, which is perhaps the evilest character from uh, Lovecraft, it would be, well, to me, it's Narlathotep. Now, this may be because Narlathotep actually has more to do with humans than any other of the gods. He often appears in human form and seems to, in, instead of like a sense of cosmic indifference, Narlathotep actually seems to enjoy being a, a really insanely evil person. But this, of course, is not the human manifestation of Narlathotep. This is a, one of my favorite of the figures and he's particularly evil and of course the um the faction color for them is blue which i think suits the character although i first of all i um painted black and well very uh, medium midnight blue which is a very very dark bl uh, blue and then i highlighted in purple mist which i don't know i just thought liked it and the fun part was actually the eye. The eye was actually painted, I found this, I was experimenting with fluorescent yellow fabric paint. And I found if you put it on, it just soaked in to the purple paint, into the, the blue and purple paint. And, and it gave this sort of nice layered, um, a, a sort of, light emanating from the great eye of Narlathotep. Um, and it has the quality of bringing the, 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 the deep parts forward. So that's one of the scariest things you can do is, is try to suggest some sort of inner light to a creature. And of course I went with the mouth thing with the, there's actually teeth down there with, uh, most lurid combination of red and fluorescent pink I could get my hands on just because it 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 you know you want to make it look something like a, a, a mouth or a gaping wound and it's got this got this line of pink going up the head anyway that, that's Narlathotep and he's got quite a coterie of monsters uh, one of these is the Night Gaunt, which um, the Night Gaunts are kind of molded funny, so I they, they tip over or they tip back, so you, you have to like, move them around a bit. Anyway, so there's not much you can do with a Night Gaunt. A Night Gaunt is just black. Oh, and once again, uh, you see it's nice and shiny. Uh, I think Night Gaunts were described as kind of rubbery. Um, and it's just black with gray highlights and then a wash of, of um, uh, shading gray. This is the uh, liquid acrylic I use to try and, and, and give them a bit of a sheen. And along with night gaunts are hunting horrors, which once again are creatures that are only described as black winged. So uh, it's one of the fun things about this is that you can at your imagination you know go a bit I don't let it go too far um, I've seen some pictures online where the uh, Cthulhu type characters are multicolored and bright and it just you know it just doesn't work for me so yeah he's basically uh, black uh, with sort of a suggestion of blue I really like the pink eyes which once again is fluorescent pink and of course the, the red tongue in the mouth and uh yeah that, that would that would ruin your day and we have the flying polyps uh, i kind of hmm i'm not sure about this uh, flying polyp if i use the right technique something uh, i was i was actually going for something with a little lighter blue gray color but you know i i think it's still pretty scary it's got the little mouth here with a long tongue and what, what was great fun was painting the various eyes like you got the got, you know that kind of slit eye and also more than one pupil which looks really crazy you put more than one pupil into uh, into the eye 
Um, although I understand the flying polyps actually walk on their tendrils and it doesn't really give an impression of that. And of course we have the cultus, the boring old cultus with a, with a horrible book and nice blue robes. But you know, just as long as everybody knows which side he's on. Well, he, I think it's a he. Not really a she. Okay, it doesn't really look like a she. Anyway, that's, um, that's the Crawling Chaos. And next will be, um, well, I can't really pronounce her name. Negaroth. I'll have to look it up. She Goat of a Thousand Young.